Here's how you import a track into Amplitude 5. I've got the free version here. So what I typically will do is I'll bring in a specific track, maybe a click track or a backing band of some sort, and I'll drop it into the audio track number two. So let's go ahead and grab whatever that might be. We're gonna drop it here. Fantastic. The next thing we're gonna do is just click and drag it till it gets back over here to the start. Wonderful. So now it's ready to rock and roll, sort of. Let's go back to the amp. We're going to right click on the amplifier and then hit bypass. Same thing for the cabinet. We're going to hit bypass. If there's anything else in the signal chain, you're going to want to make sure that you bypass it. That way, when you're recording, it doesn't have a bunch of effects put on it, unless of course you want to have effects put on it. So from this point on, we'll want to make sure that we hit record when we're ready to do things and then we're all set. We are just going to hit stop. All right. And then we're good to go. Now, there's this little thing here at the very top, this little slider. We're gonna to wanna to make sure that we zoom out enough that we could see the entire track, click and drag it to the very end of the track, and then now we're ready to export. So get hit X, uh, file, we go into export, find your location that you wanna go ahead and drop it off in. I'm gonna go ahead and make mine test. We'll hit save, I'm gonna hit export and we're good to go. Don't forget to hit the export. There's been so many times where I've picked the folder and I forget to hit, hit the export and then it's just, it doesn't show up. Obviously you need to make sure that you hit the export. Okay, so now that this is done, let's say for instance that you don't want this backing track to go along with your guitar. You can always hit the mute and it'll mute that. And again, adjust the slider to wherever you need it. And then you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you hit the export again over underneath file, find your location, do all that jazz, you hit export, and then it's good to go. It's pretty intuitive, but if you have any kind of questions, drop them inside the comments.